Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tamno. Today I'm going to be reviewing a sunscreen by La Roche Posay. If this is something you're interested in, then keep on watching. I'm sure most of you will be very excited for this video because some of you have been asking me some other sunscreen videos requesting I try some products from La Roche Posay. So here it is and there are more to come. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. The first one I'm going to be reviewing now is the Antilos Ultralight Invisible Fluid in SPF 50 Plus. This is what the packaging looks like. The first step is to do a hand swatch then face application. So for hand swatch, let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to do about three drops. Okay, four drops. So we can see that this sunscreen is runny in consistency. It's a liquid sunscreen and it's not um, thick at all, so it's really runny. You can see it ran all the way down. And now I'm going to blend this. I'm trying to blend till it dries down properly. So we've seen the hand application and it's almost smart. This is where I apply the sunscreen and here I have knotted. Right now, I don't think you guys can see anything. Okay, so I'm going to, you know, do my face now. But before then, I want to get a paper towel to dab any excess shine that I have. So I have here a mini paper towel. So because this is runny, I'm going to kind of eyeball it in my palm. So instead of doing like um finger methods i feel like with this sunscreen it's going to be dripping everywhere like i already have it on my lap right here however if you have a measuring spoon perfect so i'm just going to eyeball it and i'm going to do like a lot of drops so what i took is a lot and it's dripping so this is what i have my eye area to notice things this is what my face looks like after application and you guys can tell that there is a change like i have a bit of glow but it doesn't feel heavy or greasy whatsoever but you can tell that my face was a lot drier than now so i want to give it some time to see if it's going to mattify and you're told to apply sunscreens 15 minutes before you leave the house i'm not leaving the house but then So guys, it's been 15 minutes since I applied this sunscreen. What do you guys think? Does this look greasy on my skin? I feel like it just, um, you know, gave me this moisturizing effect that, oh, okay, your skin was previously dry and now um, we buttered you up to glow a bit. Yeah, so this is non-greasy, I must say. It's smooth on the skin, it doesn't leave me with a white cast, which is very important. Let me come closer so you guys can see my face well. I'm just using styles to show you guys my hair. What do you guys think about my hair cut and color? I like it too. Okay, since we have done the hand swatch, we've done the application, it's time for me to talk about the sunscreen. First point is the texture and the finish. So this is a lightweight runny sunscreen that leaves your skin um, moisturized. So it's not gonna leave you greasy. It's not gonna leave you like matte, 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 like matte. It's a soft matte. I like to say that. Though you can see that my face has, you know, change or transition from what it was at the beginning. My face was a lot drier than now. There was a bit of like, different you know when you have like a um body lotion your skin is dry then you apply a body lotion and there is a boost that's what i'm trying to talk about 
very travel friendly packaging. Point two is the claims and the type of sunscreen. This sunscreen claims to be non IHE. It's a broad photostable UVA slash UVB infrared protection, PPD 46 and SPF 50 plus. It is ultra water, sweat and sand resistant. Hmm. It is non-sticky and it doesn't leave you with white marks. What type of sunscreen is this really? It is a chemical sunscreen. If I haven't said my skin type, which I think I did, my skin type is combination to oily skin. Point three, who is this sunscreen best recommended for? This sunscreen was formulated for people who have sensitive skin types. Point four, what atmospheric conditions can this be worn? It can be worn for summer, winter, spring, and fall can be worn for any of these four seasons and if you're in africa you can either wear it for dry season or wet season point five price and quantity this retails for 18 pounds i don't think the sunscreens are available in the u.s like sold on large per se u.s except that this is um instead of being spf 50 plus it's a 60 in the u.s is what i think i think i don't know if i'm right if i am wrong or right to let me know in the comment section you can still find this on some sites in the us um i'll try and search for that and leave you know some links in the description box but if you can get your hands on this you should get it to add the um active ingredients slash sunscreen filters are ovenol t150 tinosub s avobenzone and mexoril xl which is uh, an exclusive chemical sunscreen agent by L'Oreal group so guys i am back with my final thoughts i really do like this sunscreen from the beginning i thought this was going to leave me with you know a greasy effect but it didn't so i'm happy and the texture the feel the finish is just good it's a good experience i forgot to mention this has alcohol decant as a second ingredient if you're someone who doesn't like to find alcohol decant in your products you should stay away from this but if you're fine with it pick it up i'm fine with it you drink alcohol don't you i'm just saying so i'm fine with that it also contains fragrance um it smells <laughs> sweet but then you would know that it contains alcohol if that makes sense so guys we have come to the end of this video i hope you guys found this video helpful if you find it helpful please give it a thumbs up like it share it subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one